Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazar of Chess Channel and welcome to another special game that I prepared for you today. Today we'll see again the most powerful chess engines in the world, Stockfish and Lila C0 battling it out in the crazy Richter Rouser variation of the Sicilian defense. And this Richter Rouser attack that you see by Stockfish is very very special because in one particular moment of the game we will meet a certain position that has been played many times in chess history but without any winning games by white. So all of the games that I found in the database were won by black or the game ended with a draw, a risky risky sharp tactical line in which white is sacrificing a piece in an early stage of the opening but uh, when stockfish is playing uh, it's a little bit different stockfish of course finds always the best opportunities always the best um, uh, sequences so i think very very a beautiful line worth to study let's see now what happened can stockfish change the outcome of the richter rouser attack in this special line so let's see now the game with the white pieces uh, here stockfish opened with move e4 lila's response was c5 the sicilian knight you are free these modern variations c takes d4 knight, take, uh, knight takes d4 and now after knight to f6 hitting the pawn here we have knight to c3 we have now knight to c6 uh, classical variation of the sicilian we have bishop to g5 which becomes now of course the richter rouser variation of the sicilian defense we have now e6 building this flexible uh, pawn structure if something happens in the center black has always the flexible opportunity to play d5 or if necessary maybe even e5 we have now queen to d2 stockfish is preparing queenside casting a6 or black is anticipating of course uh that white could uh castle queenside so that's why white is um uh, many times get in challenge with the potential b5 attack by black on the queen we have queenside uh casting h6 by the lila c0 we have knight takes c6 uh, b takes c6 and now bishop to f4 hitting simply the weakness on d6 so that's why lila improves it lila has now uh, a dominant central control with the pawns but it's really hard so far to make something because stockfish is of course not reacting here clear simply the default and is not allowing here uh lila c0 to take in the center of the board we have now bishop to b4 uh we have bishop to e2 and again i'm pointing out I have covered a couple of times the, this line already on my YouTube chess channel. We have mentioned also before, if for instance something like bishop to c3 happens, then we simply take, black can maybe take out this one, but now uh, with queen to g7, queen to f6, uh, uh, queen takes f6, knight to f6, white is I think uh, with the bishop pair much, much, much better here, especially because of the dark square problems. I think um, this is not a good continuation here for black. I see also here uh, in this particular position two games in the database and both of them were won by white. So maybe, maybe uh, too risky here to go uh, with the black pieces. So after bishop to e2, that's why Lila C0 plays out now kingside castling. Now we have this beautiful uh, Sicilian position where uh, the kings are on both uh, on opposite sides. So now it becomes a spectacular opposite side attack game. Who is faster on the attack will simply win the game. So we have now e5 uh, here by Stockfish building of course a space advantage in the center of the board which means also when we watch now this um, pawn on e5 that's the area that we want to attack so we are trying now uh, to simply get a fast kingside attack here against black we have knight to h7 uh, a3 kicking away the bishop bishop drops back and now h4 very very important aggressive sharp move uh, in order to continue the attacking flow because as i said we are now in this opposite side attack game and you have to be fast uh, if you are maybe losing a tiny little tempo uh black could also play counter uh, counter attack maybe a bit rook to be a doubling up on the b file and similar stuff so that's why white has to be really really fast uh here on this side of the world the problem for black is that actually taking here uh, would be very risky because white would simply continue the pressure and has already opened the h file so in this opposite side attack games we want simply to open the position in front of our opponent's king so now maybe you could try to compete on dark scores but now we simply take if you take maybe here um with the pawn then queen to h3 simply winning if you take here with the queen then f4 we're simply uh pushing forward you're trying to escape we play g5 you're maybe trying here c5 d4 but it doesn't matter uh, bishop to d3 again simply wins the game you cannot even uh play something else after d4 um uh, queen to e4 you cannot simply open simply the h file the rook is hanging the knight is hanging so game over again here for black so that's why after move h4 lila c0 played on this normal idea c5 d4 trying to fork against 
the queen and the knight we have now bishop takes h6 and now we have reached uh the critical position that i've talked about in the beginning of this video so now after bishop to h6 and this is also our uh position from the thumbnail uh this position has been played many many times in chess history but as i said the outcome was always a winning game by black or the game ended with a draw no winning games um here for white in this uh, tactical sequence but of course as i said stockfish is a different beast when stockfish sacrifices something uh stockfish has a good reason why stockfish is doing that because after bishop to h6 g takes h6 queen to h6 uh, black has to be now very very active in his defensive ideas so black has to somehow defend now the seventh rank so that's why lila is trying now to make uh here the move f6 uh, let's see what can, can also happen uh, after move f5 if you do that then actually g4 is cracking uh the position here in front of black's king again you can try maybe f take g4 queen to g6 now we play bishop to d3 you have to play now uh here rook to f5 now we take knight takes d5 and i think this is game over again uh here for black you could also try instead of this move f takes g4 you could maybe try to escape uh with your king from the g file but then again g5 look at this two mobile pawns are rolling you're trying to compete g6 rook to g7 we include this other rook into the game you're trying maybe d4 and now knight to d1 i think would solve again many positional problems because as we said also in the beginning of the video maybe black sh could sh uh, search for counterplay on the on the b file now the knight is very well placed protecting b2 square and still we have uh, this beautiful attack on the king side with the, both of these rooks with the beautiful queen's activity with this pro uh really, really annoying pawn on g6 i think again black is losing here so that's why after queen to h6 uh lila c0 tried f6 again clearing uh the seventh rank probably to get maybe the rook on f7 uh queen on d7 queen on c7 maybe rook to a7 um one of the heavier artillery pieces has to now uh, uh be included into the defense of black king so stockfish continues now with the beautiful idea f3 uh, bishop to f3 this is very very dangerous so let's see now a bad move uh here for black if black makes maybe the worst move actually this is now the tactical problem knight takes d5 bishop to d5 and again game over uh here for black so that's why for bishop to f3 uh lila tried bishop to b7 competing on this diagonal and now a uh, bishop to h5 clearing simply uh now the third rank now there are threats of rook to d3 rook to g3 maybe rook to h3 rook to g3 again uh we'll see uh probably the beautiful signature move by stockfish an amazing rook lift attack so we have queen to c7 and now comes what is in my opinion maybe even the most powerful move of this particular game if you like you can pause the video and maybe try to search here for the best opportunity for black maybe just for fun it's very very hard to see but it's really a stunner it's a really a spectacular move here played by stockfish 16. take your time it's not so easy to see <laughs> okay here stockfish played the amazing knight to e4 this is I think really the most important move because with this move finally stockfish included the last piece into the attack all the other pieces i think were perfectly fine uh, as we said rook to d3 rook to g3 rook to h3 rook to g3 would probably happen so it's an easy improvement of uh, of the rooks the queen on the and the bishop are already in good shape the only piece that was lacking activity uh, here was the knight on c3 stockfish improved it with knight to e4 uh, let's see now what happens well if you play d takes e4 uh, lila of course didn't play that because it was a dirty dirty trap uh here by stockfish then rook to h3 you're trying maybe to get out of this mess on the g file now we have play bishop to g6 and the problem is now the bishop doesn't have good squares to escape for instance you try bishop to d8 uh to as i said cover finally your seventh rank bishop takes h7 happens and with the move bishop to d8 you have lost uh, the rook connection now you can of course take queen to h7 but you lose this rook you're trying to compete with take and now even this one is working rook to d8 queen to f6 game over again uh here for black look how crazy and spectacular stockfish tactical sequences are king to g7 takes rook to h look at rook to g3 game is over what you could do uh here um after king to h8 uh, as we said bishop to g6 you could maybe try bishop to d6 uh but then rook to d6 still black is up a piece but uh, after something like f takes e5 we continue simply with a rook to g3 here you cannot take of course the rook 
because of the checkmate threat maybe rook to f6 can be played now we take uh, take stakes and now after rook to uh, d7 again the bishop is hanging we we'll simply take it out and i think white is much much better because of this messed up pawn structure maybe here rook to f2 can be played we improve the position of the king we go after this pawn and in one moment i think uh, white will simply grab all of these three pawns and will continue in a favorable endgame with this three versus one pawn majority uh here on the queen side so what you could do uh here instead of move d takes e4 what you could try your queen to e5 but uh, then bishop to g6 is simply winning the game there's simply no good defense again of the seventh rank you're trying rook to f7 takes takes and now queen to h7 game over here you try king to e8 and now uh knight to c5 is working again problems on the seventh rank uh here for for a black you take would take also the bishop here uh white is up the exchange has here the passer game over i would say again here for black knight to e4 a really really a spectacular move here by stalker 16 so that's why bishop to d8 play by lila trying finally to defend the knight on h7 we have now rook to h3 uh rook lift attack of course king to h8 rook to g3 we have now rook to a7 and now a beautiful calm move stockfish is saying here i don't have to even play now very really, really the most aggressive moves i have to first of all secure my king maybe there are some tactics on the c file still you cannot take the knight if you're maybe asking yourself the question why maybe black didn't take uh, the knight now because now there are uh, many pieces that are uh, defending the seventh rank then again bishop to g6 you're trying rook to g8 we take you take now we take also and the bishop is again lined up here uh, on the d file always always this huge problems now we take out the queen and it's even a beautiful check after king to b1 uh here lila tried d4 we have now knight to c5 great move again here by the fish uh of course you cannot take again because of queen to g7 checkmate so that's why bishop to d5 clearing now again the seventh rank trying now queen to c5 we have now bishop to g6 by uh stockfish you cannot take again queen to c5 it seems so that after bishop to h7 queen to f8 is not working maybe queen to c5 uh, could have been a good, good move for lila but actually look how crazy uh the stockfish attack is now after move b4 you're trying maybe rook to b7 now we play king to c1 you have to escape now with the queen and the problem is now again the queen is lined up uh here um uh, on the seventh rank now bishop to h7 with uh queen to f8 is simply i think winning again uh here for uh for white very very wild stuff so after move bishop to g6 that's why queen to g7 of course stockfish is not trading any pieces anymore uh because stockfish has to keep now the attacking flow we have now queen to c7 uh knight to d3 again a beautiful maneuver of the knight the knight is again protecting maybe the pos uh, the square that maybe it's vulnerable here in white's position again the b2 square but is also attacking uh the center of the board on e uh, on e5 we have f takes e5 knight to e5 we have bishop to f6 by uh, lila c0 and now rook to e1 stockfish simply keeps uh, the position in the center of the board glued together compact everything is uh, protecting uh, protected here in the center of the board we have rook to b7 king to c1 stockfish gets again out of this potential um b file mess we have now the move a5 by um uh lila c0 and now a beautiful move rook to g4 uh here an improvement of the rook by stockfish we have bishop to e5 a rook to e5 and now a4 you could maybe try here rook uh rook to f2 but it's actually not bringing so much look at this bishop to h7 queen to h7 uh we have here queen to uh e8 and it would be game over again here for uh for black the back rank problems are also something that bother now black in the continuation of the game you can maybe try instead of queen to h7 here rook to f1 first deliver a check but now we get out of this mess you deliver maybe a couple of checks again but again uh, the position is well protected again you can never take this one because of queen to e8 and i think again game over uh here for uh for black uh, the good part is of course that the bishop is also connected uh to the uh, c2 square if you take we take and there's simply no good check no progressive check here or black that's possible so after rook to e5 we have now a4 by lila we have f3 by stockfish now stockfish protects the f2 square we have now the move d3 and now bishop to d3 lila is desperately trying somehow to open the position to crack uh, to somehow split the pawn chain uh, in front of white king but it's simply not working here we have after bishop to d3 queen to b6 
hitting the b2 pawn uh even if you try here rook to c8 maybe you're trying to do some tactics here uh there is also another threat after king to d1 rook to b2 the problem is this one bishop to h7 queen to h7 uh, queen takes h7 and rook to h5 is also a checkmate so stockfish prepared here really a beautiful checkmate pattern on the king side so we have to also consider this threat when we watch now the continuation of the game so after move bishop to d3 that's why queen to b6 now we have bishop to h7 again rook to h7 is leading into this beautiful checkmate sequence we'll even sacrifice uh the queen here on h7 very very wild stuff so uh that's why after queen to b6 bishop to h7 we have now Queen to g1 uh, by Lila c0. We have king to uh, d2, or queen to d1. Even if you try here, I don't know. Uh, queen to f2, rook to e2 is simply winning the game. You don't have any more good, uh, good checks and the position is collapsing. So here, Lila, to, Lila c0 tried queen to d1, Stockfish took, and after rook to g7 in this particular position, uh, Lila c0 resigned. So, pooh. This was really an epic um, Richter Rouser attack against the Sicilian here by Stockfish. Really progressive play uh, with this beautiful piece sacrifice on h6. Both rook lifts, very, very crazy. Um, Stockfish basically changed here the outcome of a very, very popular line of the Richter Rouser attack. As I said, never won in human uh, level, only draws and wins. Uh, by black have been played in chess history but stockfish chain now uh simply the outcome really really crazy crazy and spectacular performance again by stockfish 16 so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really really enjoyed it a lot uh, interesting ideas of the richter rouser attack if you want to see more spectacular sharp tactical games like this check out our come to chess games play by computer series here's the link of our playlist and if you like this content hit the subscribe button see you with some more videos and what do we say in the end chess is the best, of course.